The Southland Conference Volleyball Tournament Championship match. The first set goes to Texas State, 25 to 20. And as you look at the numbers coming out of that first set, Jenny, one thing that stands out is that Texas State had more assists, 15 to 10. They also had more blocks, three to two. And also you'll notice that they are spraying the ball around, just like what we talked about earlier. Um, now Melinda Cave actually has the most kills, but you can see that all of their hitters have uh, gotten a lot of attempts. Now you notice that AJ, out of two attempts, she has two kills. So uh, hitting a thousand, which is pretty good for her. <laughs> so I, would, I, I bet that they go to her a little bit more on the right side. Uh, just to see what she may do. MC Bottles led SFA in kills in that first set with four. Melinda Cave led Texas State, as you said, with four. Doug Anderson, Jenny McGee with you from the Convocation Center on the campus of UT San Antonio. Shelby Irvin will serve for Texas State. And there is Amber Calhoun. And ball touched out point goes to SFA going back to Shelby though Doug we hadn't mentioned the fact yet that Karen Chisholm runs a 6-2 um, has ever since 2004 so you'll see and I and actually yesterday she played all three of her setters so you may see that rotation but once again going back to the fact that she wants to get as many players involved in the match as she possibly can that's one of the reasons why she does run the 6-2 and that's why you do see in that first set where Shelby Irvin had a lion's share of the sets but she wasn't the only one as uh, they were able to spread it around just a little bit Shelby Irvin had five assists but Brittany Collins had eight assists Correct. And the other, the other player you may see go in if um, if they're having a little bit of trouble will be Kaylee McCorkadale. They get by one, but it's blocked back in by Ashley Bailey, and that was a battle that we expected to see today. Two-one, Lady Jacks lead. Melinda Cave, this one blocked back by MC Bottles. She didn't have a whole lot to do with that set. It was a little bit off the net, and they had a pretty big block up there. Nice serve by Hanlon. When you have three blockers, that's a great shot. Cave sends it out of bounds. Didn't quite get on top of that ball. Lady Jacks have a 4-1 lead here in the second set. Look for them to go to Amber here, I think. Texas State riding a 12-match win streak coming into this championship. SFA has won five in a row. Texas State with a three-point lead, 14 to 11. These two teams met on October 29th, and in that match, Texas State won. They swept that match three sets to none. So SFA knows coming into this match, they have their work cut out for them. They do. 15 to 11 is the score. Texas State, the lead. We'll take the timeout and be back to the Convocation Center in San Antonio in just a moment. Twenty-one seventeen, trailing by four in the second set. And Melinda Cave does a good job to silence the SFA rally at least momentarily with the kill shot. She's uh, second on the team uh, right now behind Mo Middleton in, in kills, and she's having a great match. Middleton will serve. Darren picks up a nice point for the Lady Jacks. And this has been very similar to the first set that we saw. SFA trying to come from behind, always trailing by about four points in that first set, and they continue to do the same here in the second set. Wynan has a shot. Wow. 
attempted at a block, but so powerful and landed inside the SFA court. And, and, and as you just mentioned, the power there with three block, blockers up, that, that's kind of tough to do to get it through there. But as we know, Jessica is, is extremely powerful and, and can do that very well. Linda Cave with an ace. Set point here in the second set for Texas State. Good block at the net. Irvin to set. Winan. Darren. Nicely dug by Irvin. Watlington. Oh, and that ball was out. That was headed out. Irvin was set. What a great rally between these two teams. Point finally going to SFA, but man, that was some intense volleyball action. And that kind of action, Doug, is what we've seen all tournament long. And in talking to all the coaches this week, they, they all agree that the level of play is so similar. Um, I mean, anyone really coming into this tournament could have actually made it to the championship match. They all felt that way, um, which is so nice to see in uh, the Southland Conference volleyball programs. Bob Lincoln out of bounds. So SFA fighting back here in this second set down 24 to 20. Ariel Darren to serve. Winding. And there it is, point for the Bobcats, and they take the second set. And not surprising that they went to Wine on the outside to end that second set either. First set goes to Texas State 25-20. The second set goes to the Bobcats 25-20. And they are one set away from claiming the Southland Conference Tournament Championship and a trip to the NCAA Tournament. We'll have our halftime report coming your way on the Southland Conference Television Network.